This would easily be one of the most important videos in this channel discussing how heavy should you go. We, we will ultimately address that question and in order to answer this question we need to understand what is the desired training effect that we are looking to achieve with our training program because training for an absolute strength event like a max squat or a one rep max squat would be completely different for in comparison to training for a, an endurance event or a power production event like weightlifting demonstrating a lot of strength quickly so how heavy should you go i bet that you will uh, get a lot of other question answered and figure out once we finish this video regarding your training and programming repetition is the mother of all training variables i believe that it was charles poliquin that said this key important sentence and we will break it down today talking about the the intensity scale excuse me uh, the, the repetition ranges per set and uh, the, the system that we are targeting using a, a certain uh, percentage of our one rep max and the training effect that we will ultimately want to address so a true one maximum effort one repetition set would represent 100% of our ability and five repetition Per set, a max effort five repetition will represent around 85% of our maximum abilities, and so on. Uh, 12 repetition will be around 70s, and anywhere uh, lower than that, the margin of difficulty between one repetition to the next decreases to a significant degree, to the point that the difference between the 24th and 25th repetition is almost non-existence because if I can hang around for another two repetitions, I can maybe crank out another repetition. When we are walking around 1RM, most of the adaptation will occur in the neurological system, in our brain actually. And we will get good at demonstrating our maximum strength we will not per se get as strong as we can but we will get good at, at presenting a one rep max test we will get good we will get better at neurological efficiency recruiting a lot of motor units in a single period of time and we are, when we are working with 70% of our uh, one rep max, we are mainly targeting the muscular system. Not a lot of training effect will occur in the neurological system, rather in the muscular system, our muscles. So we will get stronger by getting bigger. And you should look at this repetition range as a continuum, not like a black and white uh, 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 numbers that once I train with 25 repetition it's only endurance training effect and once I train with 5 repetition it's only strength I will always get some uh, um, other training effect depending on where I'm standing within that continuum as you can see when we are working with 70% of our, of our repetition maximum we will get some endurance we will get some neurological benefits okay we will get what when working with one repetition some muscular adaptations as well such as hypertrophy right but it will be negligible this is why a lot of strength training programs rely on of on 85% oh, of our one rep max, a sets of five, because it's, a, it's the complete middle ground of muscular adaptations and neurological adaptations. As you can see, it's completely in the middle. And when we will go anywhere above that, it is more neurological, neurological and any lower than that will be, again, most, mostly muscular. So 
when we are training for hypertrophy, we will work with 60% and above. Even 50% you can achieve. Um, with 50% of your one rep max, you can achieve a lot of um, muscular adaptations, but it will be uh, less practical to do a, a 40 repetition set. When we are working strength, we will mainly work with 70% of our one rep max and above. Why? Because the neurological system, which is the key feature of demonstrating strength, is incrementally more involved when I'm working towards that 100%. So depending on where you are in your training program, maybe if it's your first cycle, you, you will be around this lower part of the range, the 72 to 85%. You want to improve the motor pattern, so refining technique using lower percentages, doing more repetitions in order to get better, building more volume to actually get hypertrophy response. Hypertrophy, more motor units, units, larger motor units that I can later on adapt towards maximum effort attempts. So later on in the cycle, uh, in the training program, uh, the third or the, the fourth training cycle, let's say, you will get a lot of exposure within this 90% plus range, actually practicing maximum effort. How will I brace myself under heavy loads? Because technique uh, is different when I'm training with 95% relative to 60%. It changes. One practitioner that only works within this range will get overwhelmed when he's working around 100% of his maximum effort because his neurological system will not be adapt to that heavy load. So how heavy should you go? What is your training uh, effect that you are, uh, uh, ultimately want to achieve? If you are talking about strength training, and this is what this channel is all about, you will mainly work within that 70 to 100% of your repetition maximum range. You will hang around this part most of the time. Maybe the, the, the 3 to 8 repetition. Okay? Around the 5 rep, which is the pure combination of neurological and muscular adaptation. This is where you will be most of the time. The most beneficial for you. You will get some exposure with heavier weights for more neurological adaptation getting good at represent, as presenting one rep max. And you will get a lot of work done here, maybe with assistance work, even lower than that. So you have less risk of injury, you won't tax your neurological system as much, so you can get a lot of volume. You will use this range as well, but this will be your focus. And if it's your training towards endurance event, you will mainly be within those numbers, right? Maybe CrossFit, a lot of events are uh, uh, along the lines of three to four minutes, three to five minutes. It is a muscular endurance event. It is uh, almost as anaerobic as it is aerobic event. You need a lot of endurance. So you will get not much a, a neurological training effect by training in this range, but it is not your desired training effect, your ultimate goal. You will get maybe more exposure because if you increase your one rep max, then you improve your 60%. Also, this 60% becomes more sub-maximal if you improve your one rep max, but it is less specific, so you will, you will train this system uh, more than the other. If you are training for power, if I will take a deadlift and try to produce the most amount of force, it will be actually achievable around the 70% of, of my one rep max. Taking 70% of my maximum deadlift and moving it as fast as possible, it will be very, very uh, 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 correlated with a power production sport. It will improve my clean, okay? The, the fast movement 
where you are racking the barbell uh, in rack position on your shoulders. So depending on the training effect that you want to achieve, this is where you will, on average, train most of your time. If it is, it is strength training, it is 70% and above. Anything with 70% and above is important. If you will train only within that one to three, the, the 90% of your one max and above, I guarantee you that you are, will get injured uh, eventually and you will get taxed. Your nervous system will get absolutely fried eventually. And if you're working only around the 70%, I will guarantee you as well that you will not get as strong as you, as you could if you are training the neurological system to a higher degree as well. I hope this video uh, uh, put a lot of light uh, into training, programming, how heavy should you go, what should be your average uh, set, how should it look, how many repetitions uh, should I perform. Remember that if we are talking isometrics, I am uh, taking two seconds and equating that to one repetition. Uh, so a 10 second isometric hold set in my books is the equivalent of five repetitions. You will get a lot of uh, muscular and neurological adaptations. 20 seconds will be around this number, mostly muscular. A 10 sec two second hold will be like a one rep max. I am not getting a lot uh, other than neurological uh, uh, benefits and by doing most of my work here, uh, make sure that you are not also risking injury too much. So go anywhere within that range. Thank you.